I'm gonna go with Golden State. I'll take I'll Golden take, State. I'm, go ahead, you going to Golden State? Yeah. I'm gonna go with the Golden State one. But I'm the type of dude, you got to show me you take this Steph Curry out. Go Friday night, the LA Lakers in game six ended the Golden State Warriors dynasty by putting a beat down on the Golden State Warriors. Letting Curry to 32 points and the rest of the team to basically that much. It was crazy. And it was based on the Lakers defense to the Lakers offense. And that's been this whole series. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about how the LA Lakers ended the Golden State Warriors dynasty. What's good, y'all? It's your boy, Will. We're back again with another video. Whole series has been great. It's been a lot to lift up to. LeBron versus Curry. AD versus Draymond. You know, the rest of the team. You got D'Lo versus... I guess Clay Thompson or Jordan Poole, Jordan Jacuzzi, really. Jordan Cancun Jacuzzi. That's who he was in the series. We're going to get into it, man. Let's start how the Lakers had different coverages on Steph Curry in the series. They contained Steph Curry. Obviously, you're not going to stop Steph Curry. It's, gonna be, it's, hard, it's too hard, almost damn near impossible to stop Steph Curry. But they had different coverages on him. Starting with game one, they put Jared Vanderbilt on him. Just a longer bit body on him. That's that's really what really derailed the Lakers to this this winning series. They just had too much size. So they started with putting Jared Vanderbilt on him. And at that time, Jared Vanderbilt, Steph Curry was around like 2 for 10, 0 for 5 for the field when Jared Vanderbilt was guarding him in game one. And that's how the Lakers won game. And obviously, AD was an absolute monster game one. 30 points, 23 rebounds. About five blocks and four steals. And AD, for the most part, has been doing that a lot in the series. Same thing with them putting different coverages, different, you know, looks on Klay Thompson. Klay Thompson has not been the same. Especially this series. He has been a no-show. Now, it's a few few games that he had a decent game. But for the most part, it's again the size. It's just it's not it's not a good matchup. This is obviously was not a good matchup for the Golden State Warriors. Because the only big body the Warriors have is Kavon Looney. No dis disrespect to Draymond Green. But Draymond Green compared to all the other People, all the other players on the LA Lakers is not that big. That big. That ha that has that really doesn't have that much size. Every, almost everybody on the Lakers is at least six five six six. You got most players on the Warriors about six three six four. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't really have that much girth. And it's really they really forced the Warriors to really get to the hoop more. No, excuse me. They didn't really force the Warriors to get to the hoop. They forced the Warriors to actually shoot out more threes because they couldn't get to the hoop. And you would think that would lead to the Warriors' favor? No. No, because the Warriors weren't able to get on fast breaks. They weren't able to move the ball, pass the ball around, move the ball more. And they weren't able to get to the free throw line that much, as the Lakers were. The Lakers were able to slow the game down more. And that led to the Lakers' favor. They let they helped the Warriors to 53 three pointers in the game one. That's a win for the Lakers. 
Yes, the Warriors love to shoot the threes. Yes, they do that all the time. But if the if that's all the Warriors can do and they can only make 21 threes, it's going to be a long series for the Warriors. And that's what it was. Because they couldn't, obviously, they couldn't go on the road. And it's been like this all season for the Warriors. They could not play good on the road. They were a horrible road team. Probably one of the probably the worst road team in the NBA. And it showed. They couldn't beat the Lakers on the road this whole series. And when the Lakers won game one, I was like, that's an advantage for the Lakers. And obviously LeBron was doing his thing in this whole series. He's doing his part. But it was rest of the players. Also, Reeves, you can't I can't say enough about AR. Probably the best white ball LeBron has ever played with. And he has played with a lot of them. This man is nice. He keep playing like this. They might beat the Denver Nuggets to get to the get to the NBA Finals, ladies and gentlemen. But we'll see. We'll talk about that series another day. But AR has been an amazing contribution. D'Lo has been inconsistent, but he's still been solid. Jared Vanderbilt defensively has been top notch. And AD, if he's consistent, AD has been him. Defensively, he's been consistent. He's been the best player defensively in the playoffs. He can't really say much about this team and much else because they have everything. They have depth, they have defense, they have scores. This the sky's the limit for the Lakers. They have a tough matchup versus Denver Nuggets. It's very tough. But if it's one player that can contain Jokic, it's Anthony Davis. And we've seen that in the bubble. Anthony Davis was the best player in the bubble. He has to be that in the series. Has to be. I'm not gonna say, like I said, I'm not gonna say how, what, what's, how, how many games the series gonna go. Or who's going to win the series? But let's say it's going to be a long series because the matchups are they there. This is a great this this they the Denver Nuggets match up well with the Lakers. Warriors did not match up well with the Lakers. They did not. They're not the same team they were last year. Warriors, they're not the same team. First of all, Jordan Poole, they need to trade him. Y'all can agree to disagree with me. Y'all Warriors fans, agree to disagree with me. Trade Jordan Poole. Keep Draymond because Draymond is the one, probably the biggest impact on y'all team. Obviously, we know what Curry is. But Dr y'all need Draymond. Y'all still need Draymond because without Draymond, y'all y'all just y'all not really the same financial-wise. Like, culture-wise, y'all not the same. Y'all need Draymond no matter what. Trade Jordan Poole. He might force on a better team, like, you know, a team like the Hornets, a team like Minnesota. They can use him. Because it, the chemistry, it, it ruined when Draymond punched Jordan Poole in the locker room, but on the court, in practice. It ruined. So, yeah, Trey Jordan Poole. Uh, Clay is questionable. That is... That's optional for y'all. I don't know what y'all should do with Clay, Clay, Clay Thompson because he games his Clay. He was he was him. He was him. Um, he's not the same player, man. He's not. He's not the same player. But like I said, y'all, the Warriors is they just didn't match up with the Lakers. They didn't match up. Curry did all he could, but the rest of the team they they struggled versus the size and girth of the Lakers, and it showed in Game Six. That's why the Lakers ended the Golden State Warriors dynasty. That's all I got today for this video, y'all. Y'all enjoy. Give your boy a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see y'all next time in the next video. Speaking of Bull Widow, and I'm out.